Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and I'm in the middle of a series of videos here. Well, certainly for the whole year, one and day, every every day, brand new. Uh, for those of you new to the list, you may not know that. Uh, I've gotten some pushback from people via email going, why are you sending out so many emails? They don't know that I'm in the middle of this challenge. But in this particular little mini series of videos, maybe five or six of them, I'm sharing with you some really great pointers for making the most out of networking events, especially if you don't like networking events, right? And it came from Moo.com, where I buy all of my business cards, all my coaches' cards, uh, all my other uh, sort of corporate printed stuff. And they do a great job of publishing to their client base tips and tricks and strategies and tactics to help them do things better. And they certainly do a great job of this notion of upping your game because their whole thing is about upping your game, making your logo stand out and everything on their products. So there's a link for Moo.com below this video if you, you're in the market for that sort of thing. Um, but this, this next tip that they gave in this blog post, really rich blog post filled with great stuff, was about that moment when you go home, you get in your car after an event, you go, wow, that was sure a waste of time. You know, you're talking to the, the rear view mirror and you're like, wow, that was a waste of time. You know, I'm here to tell you that if that's the case, it's on you. You're never going to get as much out of an event as you put into it, right? You're never going to get more out of an event that you put into it. And part of that is not making judgments about the people that you see there and the conversations that you overhear, but actually opening yourself up, being open-minded, and looking for those golden nuggets that you can never predict will either be there or not be there. Now, are there going to be events that you go to that just weren't appropriate for you? Yeah, probably we will. But for the most part, if you're going to do your research and you're going to have a mission when you go. I'm going to meet people who can help me. I'm going to meet people I can help. I'm going to meet potential clients. I'm going to meet people who I can be a potential client to. There's a great tip in this section of the Moo post that says, jot your intentions down on a text file on your screen, then screenshot it with your phone and make it your lock screen. You know you're going to check the time, right? Every time you check the time, you're going to be reminded of what your mission is and give it your best shot. Don't just go there, look around and then want to go home, right? Just don't do that. You can do better than that and you never know what's going to happen. I can't tell you how beautiful it's been when those unexpected golden nuggets lying right there on the floor in a conversation with somebody that I didn't expect to happen have happened. So give it your best shot and don't be afraid to start up cold conversations using the other tips that we've talked about in this series with people that you don't even know. You never know who you're gonna meet. It's so awesome. Tell me if this makes sense to you in the comments below, or tell me if you've got a way of making sure that you're on point with the mission that you have when you go to a networking event or you go to uh, a, a workshop or a meet and greet. I mean, I know that there are lots of you that just don't like that process, right? So leave me a comment below. If you want to be on the list and get notified when these new videos come out, go ahead and use the forum on the box on the very bottom of the page that says get on the list. We'd love to have you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.